Have you ever been shopping in a thrift store and found something pretty cool that you knew you should have got, but you didn't, and then you regretted it later? Yeah, that happened to me in this episode. But hey, you know, it is what it is. Dang, I should have got those things. My name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Hey, what's up? It's your boy, Burf. And today we're starting off our vintage toy hunt thrift store adventure at Big Texas Thrift. Been hitting this place up a lot lately. Haven't really found a whole lot, but they got a big toy section. So, you know, every day is a new day. We're gonna keep our fingers crossed and we're gonna pray that the vintage thrift store gods are good to me today. And hopefully we can find some vintage toys or maybe some cool VHS. Let's check it out. All right, let's hit these shelves up, see what we can find. I got a little bag of dinos. Hey, it's Shaggy. Well, this guy's still here. He's been here for over a week now. Let's see, what else? Oh, we got like a shark over here. It must be for like Hot Wheels or Matchbox or something. What's this thing right here? Oh, shit. Oh, it doesn't even have a trigger. But this thing right here, this thing that just fell, this thing is heavy, man. Like, it's made out of plastic, but it feels heavy like metal. And yeah, we got a little Teddy Ruxpin. Oh, what's this vehicle here? I might have to check that one out. That looks kind of cool. What's it say? It says uh, DT Doll. I don't know. That's what it says on the license plate, I think. DT Doll or... Oh, Cutie Doll. QT Doll. Hmm. It's interesting. Right, here's some of those Disney figures. What else do we got? What's this right here? We got like a little transformer in there. Wiley e. Coyote, Mickey D's toy. Whatever the hell that thing is. What's over here? Oh, it looks like a like a Halo helmet or something. Oh, look at this guy. I actually picked this guy up last week at Thrift Giant, but mine was mine was different. It wasn't the same. It was much better made. This is kind of like a cheapy plastic one, but uh, it's still cool. But the one I have is way better. Oh, we got another another dragon right here. This one has some broken wings though. Oh, look at this Charlie Brown. <laughs> I'm dropping stuff everywhere. Yes. Oh, it actually comes with a couple of cars. The wheel well. That's nice, it's got the cars with it. All right, what do we got in board game land? Anything good over here? Mastermind. We got some Twister. Trade up, it's like a base baseball game. Looks kind of fun. We got the Batman. All right, well, I never really find anything in Baggy Land, but it's always worth looking. At least not at this store. I don't really find anything at this store. For a second from a distance, I thought that was a G.I. Joe motorcycle. This place always has lots of Hot Wheels and Matchbox. The only things I know to look for, though, are red lines. I don't really know anything else about... Matchbox and Hot Wheels. I guess there's ones called like treasure troves or something like that. I don't know. Bag of dinos. I like the color of that one. And what's this for? Maybe Roblox? Okay, we found Shaggy's girlfriend, Velma. And we got some Lion King stuff. What's this? Hmm. I've never seen that before. Well, five dollars for that bag? Are they all five? Yeah, they're all five dollars for this bag of junk. It's got a little praying mantis in there. That's kind of cool. But uh, yeah, I don't know who this guy is. Oh, look at that big fish. Dang. Look at the, the teeth on that thing. 
Look at that Disney mug. I wonder what this goes to. It's kind of fun looking. Call of Duty Black Ops. No disc though. I don't really see any good VHS. Too bad this wasn't the old Dennis the Menace, like the black and white ones. I'd pick that up for sure. Not so much interested in the movie. Yeah, I'm not really seeing anything. Hey, it's Funshine Bear. This is my favorite Care Bear because my favorite color is yellow. So Funshine has always been my favorite ever since I was a kid. All right, first store of the day busted. So let's head off to Thrift City. Thrift City, baby. Let's see what kind of goodies they got over there. All right, gang, we're here. Thrift City. So I say this every time we come here, but they have a very tiny toy section, but their glass case is okay. Sometimes you can find some good stuff in there. I actually found a vintage NES system here around Christmas time, but I haven't really found a whole lot in the case since then. So, but we'll check the glass case, check their toys, and then also we'll check their board games and see if they restocked because last time we were here, the board games were wiped out. Right, what do we got? Looks like nothing in the glass case. There's some sort of action figure there. I don't know who that is. A little blue dragon, but that's it. They ain't got nothing else. So this is their toy section. Nothing over here. There's a soups it's plushy down there. And nothing on this side. All right, let's go check the board games. Well, it looks like they got a few more in compared to last time, but this thing used to be just stacked. Hmm. Coda color. 750 piece. What's this right here? Go to the head of the class. Oh. I think I remember this game. See, they put this this type of tape, this like, uh, I forget what type of tape this is called, but they used this kind of tape, which was great. It came off really nice. It does say complete, but look at this. Look at this. See this tape right here? This is really gonna be really difficult to get off without it ripping the board that sucks so they have this nice game it's complete they got this shitty ass tape on here that's gonna ruin it when we try to take it off Ugh. just checking this game out too it's actually kind of neat get it off here it's got the instructions it's got these cards the board game looks like it's all taped up though oh yeah look how beat that is it's all taped oh yeah look at that but yeah we're not gonna get this one but uh let's actually fold it out here so there's the board game and then they got these little dinosaur pieces in here Yeah, too bad the board's so beat. Now, I kind of want to get it, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to get the tape off without ruining it. People say, and some subscribers have told me, use like a blow dryer or a hot gun or something like that, and it should come off. But I'd hate to get it and then have it all ripped to pieces trying to get it off. Because they want a little more for it than what they usually ask for board games. Normally they're like $2.99 or $3.99, but this one's $5.99. Ugh. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna think about it. I'm gonna look around a little bit more and make a decision. PlayStation 2, Medal of Honor, front line. Hmm. And it has the game in it. Five bucks. Well, 
I am not willing to take a chance on that. It's just too, ugh, it's just so frustrating when I see tape on good board games. Like overall, I think it was in, you know, it was in decent condition. It wasn't like, you know, wasn't mint or anything, but for a board game that was made in, I think it was 1986. So it's like almost 40 years old. It felt like it was in decent shape. But I'm just not gonna, man, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna take it home and get it off and have it rip and then, you know, be disappointed about it. So, all right, well, hey, let's pick our spirits up and let's head off to Thrift Town, baby. And let's see if we can score something over there. And then we'll probably hit up the thrift store and then probably end our day at Plaza Thrift, AKA Craptastic Sam. So let's head that way and see what kind of goodies Thrift Town's got. All right, my friends, we are here. So they have a pretty big VHS selection. So we'll probably check those out. Well, I know we'll check those out for sure, but we'll um, check their toys. I haven't found anything in here in a long time. I'm hitting up all the stores today that I don't, haven't really found anything in in a while. But you know, like I said earlier, it's a brand new day and our luck can change. So let's see what they got. What they got down here. Yeah, this little vehicle has been here for a while. A couple weeks at least, maybe three weeks. I'll check out, check out that six shooter. <laughs> so far, this is the coolest thing here today. What's this guy? This is some sort of beanie. Should say silly slammers. Hmm. Oh, here's another one of those Uno card shufflers. I was kind of half tempted to buy this guy last time I was here. I'm pretty sure he's old. He's all hollowed out inside. He's got like a little crack right here. You know, I just realized I could probably customize this. Have Nicole paint him up a different color, put a saddle on him, and have him as some sort of attorney, uh, masters of the universe lion, you know, kind of like uh, Cringer, but a lion version. There's no price tag on them, so I'll have to see what they'd want to sell them to me for baggy section is wiped out there's like nothing here but baby toys and junk VHS is looking pretty weak what's this the mafia the expose look at that guy I just pulled this guy off the shelf I don't know if that's an insane clown posse guy $13 huh it's kind of cool. All right, so we got the lion. She gave him to me for 99 cents. Um, the clown, uh, I think it was that Insane Clown Posse Juggalo. I looked it up and he's selling for about 25 bucks. They wanted 13 for him. I don't really collect that type of stuff. Um, didn't really want to take the time to list it and flip it either. So I left him for someone else maybe somebody's an insane clown posse fan an icp fan and uh maybe that will make their day when they walk in there all right let's go hit up another thrift store all right gang we are here you can't see it through the door through the the cart here hell this guy's hauling tires but we are at the thrift store baby <laughs> So check the glass case, rummage through the bags, check the shelves. Let's pull out a score. I'm ready for a score. How about you guys? You guys ready for some vintage jazz worthy scores? I know I am. Let's do it. Xbox, FIFA 21. Anything else down the middle? There's a Hulk with a remote control. I've never seen it with the remote. I've seen him before, but never with the remote without a boot. All right, let's go check the bags. Got lots of bags to rummage through. Maybe, just maybe, we'll find something cool. Well, we got some Minecraft. 
and the rest of it. Oh, there's a Beyblade. What is that? Hmm. It's like a single. I've never seen that type of box for them before. There's a bag. Oh, there's a get along gang figure right there. That's cool. You don't see those very often. That's the first time I've ever seen a get along gang figure in a thrift store. And there's one of the ghosts from uh, Mickey's Christmas Carol. I think that's the ghost of Christmas present. Oh, what's that? It's like a Bart Simpson. That's neat. Thing is, I don't want to pay $4 just to get that, you know? Same with the get along gang figure. I don't want to pay that kind of money just for one little figure that's probably worth five bucks. Now look at these little army men. Those are different. They're all painted up. And it looks like an abominable snowman and Mickey Mouse. There's an Iron Man in there. Luke Skywalker. Angry Birds. Police motorcycles, kind of cool. And we got some ducktails. Anything else? Oh, there's a Smurf. There's Montgomery Moose. He's another get along gang figure. All right, I might actually get these bags. That was $6.99 for that. Holy cow. That is crazy. What did they do? Put all of these. Did they put all of these figures in different bags? There's a Mickey, Donald, Minnie, Scrooge, Jiminy Cricket, Goofy. There's a lot of a lot of figures in that bag. Pluto, Captain America. We got an Iron Man. Looks like Woody from Toy Story. Lots of frogs. Well, there's another one of those big cowboys like I got last, last time I was here. Lots of little dinos in this one. Tons of dinos. There's like a dino stamp. That's neat. Man. Four bucks, yeah. Not enough good stuff in that one to make me want to pull the trigger on four dollars. Somebody's backpack. Maybe it belongs to this guy, maybe? Hey, check it out, it's Where's Waldo? I think he's a bendy fig. this Captain America. Oh look, he's got paint wear on his nose too. Just like all of them. I wonder if he talks so. I don't want to hurt you. Oh, you don't? The Avengers don't know how to fail. Avengers assemble. That's cool. I'll check out this guy. Some sort of Power Ranger Zord, I guess. Yeah, check out the Lego dude. Oh, we got a Prime. Got some angry birds, the pigs. Oh, there's a joker. Hmm, is he like a Mickey D's toy maybe? Yeah, it kind of looks like he would be. Oh, here's a best of the hidden NFL. Oh, it's an NFL Films video. All right, I'll grab that for a buck 49. And I just snagged another Rescue Heroes. VHS. I am not a Cowboys fan at all, but uh, if you are a Cowboys fan and you're in the area, 
Over in Plano at the thrift store, they've got this set of glasses for $6.99. Looks like they were asking $14.99 for them. All right, well, the only thing I got was the NFL Films VHS and the Rescue Heroes. The Get Along Gang, I actually have the entire collection of the Get Along Gang, and I have the Clubhouse. So, I don't really need them, but man, I wanted them. I, I just didn't want to pay like six bucks for a bag just to get like one little figure. I know there's other stuff in the bags, you know, and I could probably bundle them up and, you know, sell the rest of them or give them to somebody, somebody's kid or something like that. But like, I just didn't want to spend the money on it. But it kind of hurts my soul a little bit to leave vintage get along gang figures behind. I just, you never see them in thrift stores. So, but. I don't really need them because I have the entire collection. I I have every single one of them. So and I don't need I don't need doubles. So all right guys, let's go hit up St. Vinny de Paul. All right, gang. St. Vinny de Paul. Let's see what we can do in here. Still looking for a score. Still looking for something that like, you know, gets the jazz flowing through your veins. Wow, guys, he's still here. Somebody come by this little dude. I'll tell you why, though. I've said this a million times. It's because they want $24.99 for him. He's just not worth that much money. What do we have here? We've got a Stealth RC. Wow. That is cool. I want $25 for that. That's pretty awesome, though. I don't know. Is it missing something here? Kind of looks like it's missing something. This galaxy hunt. This yellow fire truck. I think he might be vintage. Let's see, they only want a dollar thirty nine for their bags. That's more like it. Well, it looks like they might have put some more VHS out. The Duke. Got eight men out. Man, Charlie Sheen was in a lot of baseball movies, wasn't he? <laughs> Grease. Mod Squad. Ghost in the Darkness. I saw that in theaters back in the 90s. Dancing soundtrack. Terrence Trent Darby never heard of him. Surf's up, dude. Oh, these must be like Beanie Baby knockoffs or something. Salvino's Baby Pamus. Oh, interesting. Oh, wow, look at these motorcycles. Street Stalker. And we got some of these uh, old gas pumps here as well. Those are cool. And those things are expensive. 25 bucks each. Dang. Dang, guys. We're winding down here. We got like maybe two more stops. We're going to go hit up a Goody Wheel. And then we're going to go hit up Plaza Thrift. And uh, we got to get a win, man. It's, uh, the clock is ticking. It's like fourth and goal right now. <laughs> well, it's actually third in goal. We got two stops left, but maybe the Goody Wheel will produce for us. All right. Who's in my Goody Wheel gang? Hashtag Goody Wheel gang. If you win the Goody Wheel gang and on three, let's chant the Goody Wheel anthem. One, two, three. What you got for me today, Goody Wheel? What you got for me today? <laughs> Man. Love you guys. Goody Will Gang for life. Goody Will Gang Gang. All right, so let's uh, let's see what the Goody Will's got for us. All right, let's see. What do we got today? We got this 
Bobblehead, Bobblehead Joey Logan. Don't know him. But I had this at one point in time. I had it a few years ago. I had the remote with it though. Oh, we got a couple of lightsabers here. These are some of the nicer ones. What's this thing? Oh, it's some sort of little bank. It's like a post office or something, like a mailbox. Oh, the sumo wrestler's been here for about a week. Something in there is making noise. Oh, that little snowman looking dude. Oh, look at these guys. There's actually a couple of them. Oh, there's more than a couple. There's like at least three of them. Oh, oh, what's in there? A little Chuck E. Cheese lunchbox. It feels like there's like, it sounds like there's marbles in it. Let's see. Oh, yes, it is. It's a whole box of marbles. A whole lunchbox of marbles. Some of them aren't marbles, but marbles though. Some of them are like these little flat stones. It's a neat little lunchbox though. Oh, look at this guy. What does he go to? Oh, I really like that. What do they want for it? Two fifty. That doesn't seem like a bad price. Got a minion. Some Nerf guns. Some baseballs. Let me check out this dude. And a little bucket of like Mickey D's toys. Some Paw Patrol. Oh, that's a cool wall hanger. Batman and Robin. They only went three dollars for it. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. It's like a uh, Mountain Dew can clock, but it looks like this piece of it here is busted. Man, guys, it has been a fairly uneventful day. I mean, we did see some vintage 80s toys with the Get Along Gang and stuff and the vintage 1960s Marks Cowboy. That was cool. Kind of wish I would have got that. I think that bag was like five bucks though or something. Mm. Anyway, can't, uh, can't have regrets. When you pass something over, you can't hold on to the regrets. It's hard sometimes though, especially like that time that I lost, I passed, uh, or didn't pass up on. I just, I missed out on because I didn't see it. The real Ghostbusters ghost trap still haunts me to this day but that's that's an example of like whenever you miss out on something you know you just gotta let it go you know you can't hold on to it like i've held on to it for almost three years now <laughs> i don't know why that one bothers me so much i guess because it was like it was just it was right there it was right there and i missed it i didn't even, i didn't even see it so, all right, guys, last stop of the day, Plaza Thrift, a.k.a. Crappy Sam's. Let's head that way and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, gang, last stop of the day. Let's finish strong. All right, what do we got? Well, that wrestler's still here. Star Wars. Man, shelf's pretty bare today. Well, I don't know, guys. The, uh shelves here aren't looking too great right now what's this right here oh it's a gotham city police van but it's all busted up and we got the remnants of a shell razor this was here the other day all right here's the guy on the quad with the remote control all right well let's see if there's anything in baggy land Look at this snake all coiled up inside. We got a shark. That's like the coolest bag here. And this looks like an old dollhouse. Oh, it's like a for Playmobil people. Look at this uh, VCR co-pilot. You can, the fastest, easiest way to record your favorite songs. Well, hey, you know what? You win some, you lose some. 
you know, we got some VHS. What else did we get today? Oh yeah, the Lion. The Lion, you know, it's actually a cool score because like I said, I can get Nicole to customize it and use it for my vintage Masters of the Universe figures. I think that'd be pretty cool. Actually, you know, I've got the Cringer, I've got Panthor, and uh, I also have like a Rhinoceros. It's not, it's not Masters of the Universe line, it's like a knockoff line. I can't remember which line it is, but it actually has the same saddle as Battle Cat. But, uh, but it's a rhinoceros. So now I'll have a lion. But hey, if you enjoyed watching this content as much as I enjoyed making it for you, do me a favor, smash the like button. That helps me out, it does help my channel grow. Also, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I got a lot more great content coming your way. Better than this video. <laughs> Believe, trust me, trust me, anything could be better than this video. Uh, but uh, yeah, I got a lot more great content and you can start binge watching it right now, starting with this next video. I know you're gonna love it.